Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing noceums. Be sure to subscribe for more animal facts. Noceums were a request from the show's number one fan. Thanks, Dad. These bugs are also known as sandflies, biting midges, and punkies, but they all belong to the same family of insects. Currently, there are somewhere around 6,000 recognized species of noceums, which I'm sure is a fact everyone wants to hear. Though it should be noted that classification for these flies is still highly unresearched, so there could be changes with more data. Noceums live globally, though tend to prefer tropical and subtropical environments. The adults gravitate to swamps of both fresh and salt water, as well as ponds, streams, and most other aquatic environments, while the larvae live in moist soils or decaying vegetation. Noceums can also live as low as sea level or as high as mountains, and they are active both during the night and the day, depending on the species. So basically what I'm saying is you can't escape the little buggers. Sorry, Dad. To be fair, not all noceums bite us. Just like mosquitoes, only female noceums need to consume blood in order to provide nutrition for their eggs. The males mostly consume sugars in the form of nectar from flowers, which is actually beneficial to us as they help pollinate plants such as cacao and rubber trees. Noceum larvae eat algae, plant material, and nematodes, as well as other insect larvae. Depending on the size of the meal, noceum larvae may eat meals whole or burrow in and eat the insides. Yikes. In turn, noceums are consumed by fish and other aquatic predators, and they are likely an important part of a healthy ecosystem. A noceum's life cycle begins as an egg. A female noceum will provide her eggs typically by drinking the blood of other animals, which can include humans, other mammals, reptiles, and even other insects, including the male with which she mated. Yep, some species of noceums will eat their mate after copulation, but hey, he's just trying to make sure his kids have uh, nutrition. A female may lay more than 2,000 eggs over the course of her life, either in water or on moist surfaces. Once the eggs hatch approximately a week later, they enter their larval stage of life. Some larvae may overwinter to wait for better temperatures before maturing to their next stage, while others will simply move on to the pupil stage once they developed enough to do so. After the two or three days of the pupil stage, a noceum will enter the adult stage and have thus undergone complete metamorphosis within just a few weeks' time. As adults, they can be anywhere from 1 to 5 millimeters long, which is pretty freaking tiny. To put their size into perspective, smaller noceums are approximately the same length as a credit card is wide. This is why they're able to fit through just about anything to get to our skin. When a noceum bites a human, an itchy welt forms due to an allergic reaction with proteins in the noceum's saliva. Because noceums bite multiple animals throughout their lifetime, they can be vectors for diseases such as Oropuche fever, though this largely depends on the species. Their vicious bite is actually the reason some parts of tropical areas have not been developed for human utilization, as most repellents don't work on them. So I guess that's nature's way of saying, yeah, I'm keeping this section to myself. For more facts on noceums, check out the links in the description. What do you call these little critters? Tell us in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.